in Twin Falls, Idaho, about to do something I have never done. Well, base jumping is incredibly dangerous, and I think that's one of the reasons why people get kind of hung up on it. It's not for everyone, that's for sure. I always encourage people to kind of dive into the fear. <laughs> Nothing compares to when you're standing on the edge looking down, you know, getting ready to jump. Because you have thousands of years worth of DNA pumping through your veins saying, if you jump, you're gonna die. I've crossed glaciers in Greenland, I've raced motorcycles, I've repelled through canyons, but I've never done what I'm about to do. This is Fast and Fearless. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Dude, thanks for coming all the way out here. Yeah. I know this is kind of your home turf, Twin Falls. When I came here for the first time, I was like, you know, this is the most epic place to practice your skills, you know, get your first jumps out of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think you're gonna have a ton of fun out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you already did all these extreme sports, like why base jumping? What hooked you to base jumping? Base jumping was something that I was really drawn to from a really young age. It looked like one of the most like freeing and unique things I'd ever seen. And so that's kind of what drew me in. And when I did my first jump, I was like, all right, everything that I thought about it was totally true. This is peaceful and freeing and like one of the most unique things I've ever done. And I was just like hooked right from then. Oh my gosh, peaceful. It is super peaceful, <laughs> I promise you. I know you're gonna be really nervous on this first one. Everyone is super nervous, but it is really, really peaceful. If you can like relax and trust Sean, who's gonna be taking you on the tandem, you're gonna have a great time. Oh my God. And I heard Sean, he's kind of like the OG tandem guy. He's the best of the best. Oh yeah, so Sean Schuma kind of started the tandem base thing. There are only like three people in the entire world who will do a tandem base jump. He is like one of the most trustworthy people. I, I would trust like my great grandmother with him. So oh he's gosh. you're in good hands. Oh, okay, okay, perfect, nice. And speaking of only a few people, you're only one of the few women in the world that can actually do this for a living. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm one of only about three women in the entire world who's been able to make base jumping a career. Do you still get nervous and scared every time you jump or is it just? Oh man, I'm nervous every time. Anyone <laughs> who tells you that they're not nervous base jumping is totally lying or they're like a psycho. Unlike with skydiving where you have two parachutes, with base jumping you only have one and you have one shot to do it right, so you better do it right, or there are serious consequences. There's a certain amount of nerves that go along with it, for sure, and that's kind of what keeps us alive. You're scared of something, the nerves pop up, you triple check stuff, you know, you make sure that everything is lined up, and then it's just about getting over that feeling. It's not not having it, mm -hmm. it's recognizing it, addressing it, and then stepping past yeah. it. So I'm nervous on every jump. So you'd say you almost need a bit of fear to kind of keep things in perspective. Absolutely, fear yeah. is totally important. What, what really drives you to keep jumping? The ability to travel and meet new people and experiencing new locations. And I've always had that like little spark of like, all right, what would happen if I would, you know, fall off of something or jump off of that? And kind of chasing that feeling is what keeps me moving, keeps me motivated. Yeah. you to want to try it oh man <laughs> for me I've I have a bit of FOMO in my life so okay. I always if a opportunity to do something presents itself it's very rare for me to say no yeah whether I like it or not I'm not <laughs> sure like mountain biking tried mountain biking didn't like it it wasn't, uh, for, you. it wasn't for me but so I'm like the opportunity to base jump doesn't come around every day so yeah and the fact that I get to do it with someone you know such as yourself with uh, you know another woman is amazing but the irony of this is that I actually have a huge fear of jumping off of stuff okay um so like but you're a skier I know and come I jump on. off cliffs and like yeah. I, I jump you know off of off of cliffs but, into water okay. and stuff but you, big things yeah. like woof. you want to know something funny is I'm totally scared of heights. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? I get so, it. What's the biggest base jump you've ever done? Uh, so the tallest base jump I've ever done is about 5,000 feet and that was um, out in Norway. You could almost consider that a skydive. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 5,000 feet. You're only opening, you know, maybe 500 feet above the ground. Wow. So. What a cool feeling. Yeah. That kind of free fall must be wild. Oh yeah. And you get the ground rush. The ground starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger as you're <sighs> falling towards it. Oh my God. Yep. <laughs> That's wild. And breathe. <laughs> 
going to be okay. <laughs> it's no. not quite that tall. You're going to have a great time. You're going to have so much fun. I oh, promise okay. you. Like, I'm, I'm not too nervous now, but I think once I actually am strapped in on that bridge, it's going to be like, oh, yeah. oh the reality setting in. Yeah, like, exactly. I think for you, the most nerves you're going to experience is when you have to climb over the railing onto the platform. Yeah. Because you're not, you're not connected yet. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be tied into the bridge, but there's still that, like, mental, like, gap of, oh my God, I'm going over this railing. I think that's where you're going to have the most nerves is like stepping over the edge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I am, oof, I'm excited to do this. I'm definitely nervous, but I think, uh, I think this is going to be, be a pretty incredible opportunity. Sweet. So, thank you. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. Let's get after it. What's up? Hi guys. How's it going? Good Ooh. morning. Hey, Sean, John. this is Kaylin. Hey, Kaylin. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Sean, yeah, yeah, you're the tandem. Oh man. You're the tandem guy. Yeah. And this is going to be for you. Jump off a 500 foot bridge. Awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think you're ready. I'm not trying you're to think about ready. it, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. You're going to have so much fun. <laughs> One of the coolest things I think I've ever done. I can't believe you guys just do this all the time. <laughs> just that dropping off and dropping away is it's surreal and it doesn't make sense. It's not logical. Like you're a human being. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. Highly recommend it. I'm glad you had so much fun. Yeah, thank you, Claire. Yeah. What an awesome thing you get to do for a living. I can't wait to see where else you end up jumping. Right. Maybe I'll be joining you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Awesome. <laughs> I'm hoping women can walk away watching this show feeling inspired to try something new and to push their boundaries and to maybe break down some fears.